Hello, this is Marcus Nixon, and I have created this video to show off a virtual reality prototype that I developed for the Oculus Rift. As you can see in the scene, uh, scene that you're viewing is a virtual arcade, and the game is uh, Whack-A-Mole. So the entire concept of the scene actually came from a tutorial I found on Udemy in which they walk you through how to create all of these 3D models, um, these uh, machines, and the room itself. So if the scene looks familiar, that's why. However, I, I did actually create all of these 3D models myself in Blender, and um, the tutorial actually walks you through developing this game for Google VR. Um, but I wanted to get some experience with the Oculus SDK, so I have converted the app to work on the Oculus Rift, uh, along with adding several other features to customize the app for myself. So let's start with the uh, lighting. So it, I used uh, point lights, four point lights. So there's one, there's two, three, and four, and as you can see, I alternated between this this pink and this teal, teal tealish blue light, and you can see the color splash on the wall, and from this light as well, you can see the color splash. And the lighting is actually baked lighting as opposed to real time lighting, and that's to improve the performance of the game. And as far as the baked lighting goes, uh, the baked lighting works in this thing because all of the objects here are static objects, meaning that they don't move. And almost all of the objects are static except for uh, the moles here and the hammer. And in order to light those objects, because they are dynamic, they move, uh, I used a light probe group. So here you can see the light probe group is represented by these yellow spheres here. And as long as they encompass uh, the area where the mold and the hammer will be moving in, then they will be lighted as well. All right, so from here, let's go to the 3D models, so I already have Blender up. So here you're, you'll see the model, uh, the original model of the arcade machine. And uh, I did some uh, UV uh, wrapping here so that when I overlaid, uh, when I added the texture to each arcade machine, um, they would actually uh, have somewhat of a flow on the machine that way you can see the the edges here of each machine uh, my favorite is the uh, Ninja Turtle one so you can see how the you can make out the edges as opposed to if I didn't do the UV wrapping um, and I added the texture the texture would just flow through uh, flow across the entire object and it would kind of takes away the uh, immersiveness and the 3D factor of the actual object. So if you can, uh, with the UV wrapping, that gives the edges a, a good definition. So we'll zoom in on the, uh, the arcade machines there. And back to Blender, and let's take a look at the next model. This itself is the arcade uh, room. Here are the, uh, this is the mole container.
And here are the mole. Um, excuse me, here's the mole. Here is a uh, the pinball machine. And here's the hammer. And so let's take a quick uh, walk through. Um, Let's take a quick first-person walkthrough of the environment. So when the game is actually play, played, uh, it's it's a it's played in the Oculus Rift headset, and the player is actually locked in position uh, around about here in this area. And so in order to develop the prototype without having to take the Oculus Rift headset on and off. I added a first-person player object to the game so that I could switch between viewing the game in the headset and just viewing the game in the Unity editor. And so we'll take a look at that. So here we are in the first-person view of the game and we can walk around and you can see the realistic texture of the carpet. I really like that feature. All right, so in the next video, you'll see some cool enhancements I added, including uh, sound effects, a virtual keyboard that allows you to input data into a user interface, and a high score leaderboard that retains the score even after the game session has ended. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you.